What up folks, I'm Ultrazil and today I have a review to Transformers Legacy United Transmetal Cheetor. That's right, it is Beast Wars Transmetal Cheetor. And uh, this is one figure that I've never had in any version, so I was really excited to get this little core class version of him. Uh, I think this is uh, gonna turn out pretty cool. I like how it looks all ready. He's got a pretty funny looking face, we will get to that in the review proper but you know it's a nice little box with some nice art for sure uh still uh open box here for the transformers but it's totally fine as long as uh, his head is on i got this at big bad toy store i did have a pre-order up at amazon uh along with the cybertron starscream uh but then BPTS uh, got these in like super super early so I was like you know what I'm switching over because I have some other stuff in my pile of loot uh, and it'll make for a nice little box and uh, you can check out my BBTS pile of loot video um, you know and uh, then you can check out this one or you can just check out this one right now so without any further ado let's get to this review and here is Cheetor out of the package, and he's a cool little Transformer. I uh, am a digging in this guy. He's got a crazy, crazy face, though. Uh, crazy eyes, possibly crazier than they needed to be, but um, he's, he's a little nutty. I don't know if the eyes are a little off. It's so, so tiny. Um, they are a little bit off, I think, on mine, but like ever so slightly. Either way, he's got a crazy face. I like his green jaw thing. I think that's pretty cool, like trap jaw. And he's got purple under the eyes. And again, those crazy eyes. Once again, the nose. He got some um, little things there, spots. Some spots on his chest and some more green and some gold right there. Nice paint. Then uh, some metallic orange there. Nice chest. I dig it. On the shoulders, he's got some good stuff going on here. All right, not bad. Got the little tiger paws in the back there. You do have some blades. We'll take a look at them more in a second. On the back, just have the tiger head. Uh, not much going on back here. The legs look pretty cool. Overall, I didn't have them outstretched, but should be uh, outstretched more. So he's got crazy proportions, honestly. I zoom back, you can check him out. Really, really, really tall. But I'm guessing, you know, it doesn't really completely stand like that. So, you know, but if you want, this dude could be really tall. But he's not going to really stand because he has no, like, ankle articulation. So you do have to uh, bend him a little bit to a proper spot. Um, but you could do it if you want. Uh, but, you know, the legs are what they are. They're all right. Feet have that orange again. I guess it's not really metallic orange. It's looking metallic on this one, but I don't think it is. More spots on the side, kind of like these purple spots. He's got little fists that hold the thing. I don't know. He's okay. Looks wise, he's okay. The articulation, the head moves. Nothing in the body. The shoulders are on ball joints. Well, yeah, you're going to get some range of motion. Uh, also ball jointed at the elbows. You can't pull them out though, you know, so do be careful. The legs splits completely, goes forward, goes back. You do have a thigh joint, a little mushroom peg there. Then I, as you can see, you have, uh, you know, a few joints to play with at the knee. Nothing in the foot, you know. He's okay. He doesn't have like great, super great articulation. He's a small core class figure. And then the blades, like I was saying, have the orange tips. And they're actually pretty nice. And I like how they look as singular blades uh, in the two hands. I think they end up looking really cool. It makes him look really cool. Uh, but you can combine them. Uh, like so. Believe. And then uh, I guess he would hold this part. I don't, I don't know if this is supposed to be a blade or if he uses it. Oh, I popped off his elbow. 
joint um, or a boomerang. I don't know, not very well versed in the beast machines to tell you the truth. Uh, I did like the look and I did want it, but <laughs> uh, you know, overall though, I do like these as separate ones instead, um, but he's, he's okay. He's an okay little bot. And for your size comparison, here is a Cheetor with a bunch of other Transformers you might have in your collection. All right, so with that all uh, said, there's only one thing left to do, and that's maximize. But we're staying here because it's pretty easy, and why not? Sometimes you just have to say, why not? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, guys. You know what I'm saying. You just move things around. You get things. I think that goes like that. Um, you get things where they need to go, and, you know, you'll be all right. You'll uh, be okay. We'll be okay. All together. See these things? They go in there. But hey, this is a, gives me a good opportunity to say, never follow my transformations for your own transformations. There are way better YouTube reviewers that uh, are all about that. Um, I, I don't, I don't find that part of a review. It's not part of a review is to give you the directions. Uh, but hey, you know, that's, that's just me. Uh, no, it's not just me. That's, that's what a, a review is, not a how-to. Uh, <laughs> but hey, you know, there's some good guys that are very Transformers oriented that, uh, you should, you should follow, uh, for your transformations. Just, it's not going to be me. Um, that's pretty much it with this guy. Oh, and then you got these things, which there is a couple of ways, uh, to go with this. So first off, if you want, you, I think this goes like this in these little sections. I keep pulling stuff off this guy. This should go like this, like that. And then one goes on the other side. I should have just stuck to my speedy, speedy version. But I didn't. Okay. All right. Sadite, Sadite, and Sadite. So I, this is the official way, is uh, to have these things up here. It's kind of the look for uh, Cheetor. Um, in this, you know, from the show. Oh, this doesn't connect to that. Okay. Um, and it looks good. I think it looks good enough. He's a weird cat. You know what I'm saying? He's just, he's a little bit of an odd cat. Uh, but it looks good. It looks good overall. I don't know. It's kind of good. <laughs> Everything is fixed. So it's like weird the way it is but uh if you put him down he's just kind of on his tippy toes and i believe all right there we go you got to push it in that's right the front the back legs here if you push him in there is an extra detent there and then he could be flat and then you could just lose this again so i don't know it's it's decent the tiger face Pretty cartoony looking. You know, this acts like some extra neck or something. I don't know. Um, I guess maybe if you're looking at it, it's supposed to just like mimic extra chest. Uh, but I, I dig these. It's kind of different. I mean, obviously, he's not going for an actual tiger look. He's got a little tail. Very Voltron-like in a way. Voltron lion-like. Um, it's good enough. Little claws. It's cool. I don't know. There's something about it that I like. Like a weird little charm. So like I was saying with these though. I did find a different thing you could do with them. Should you not want to do what you're supposed to do with them. Um, and you know me. Sometimes sometimes I, I'm like that. Um, if you put these together properly. How did I do it? Like so. All right, then the space under here and this tucks in perfectly under there. Like, like, it, like it, it belongs. 
Um, there's kind of a, a cooler look to it like this. I, I don't know, you know, what that look would be, but there's, there's something cool about it. I, and I dig it. <laughs> uh, and it's very secure. It, it, like I said, it feels like it's supposed to be there. Um, so I don't know, a couple of ways to go. I don't know if I just came up with that or if it's actually in the directions, um, to do something like that. I don't know why it would be if they definitely belong out here. Uh, but I don't know, something that, uh, I was messing around with and I saw and I was like, Hey, does this fit here? And it does. So I dig it. I dig it. You got some extra orange there, some other stuff. It's cool. I know, it's a cool uh, little Cheetor. And for size comparison in alt mode, as always, here is Cheetor with Optimus Prime. And my final thoughts, this is a cool a little core class figure. It's a good, fine representation of uh, Beast Machine's Cheetor. Probably like the only one I'll ever need, to be honest. I don't have like too much of an attachment. I do like Cheetors, um, and that's why I kind of wanted this. Uh, and it's cheap, you know, these little guys are cheap, 10 bucks, I mean, that's fine for a little Transformer toy. Um, it's, it's neat. I do like the, the cheetah mode. I think it's pretty cool. But I do like them with these little swords too, so, eh, you know, a little bit of both. Uh, is it so bad? And there you go. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. I got this guy on Big Bad Toy Store, but you can also get it on Amazon easily, so click that link down below to help support the channel. And if you're new to that said channel, why don't you go ahead and sub yourself for daily content. And let me help you diversify your collection. Until next time, peace out, peace.